Hi everybody, this is Susie. Um, I did a video a while back on showing how to uh, download a picture from the internet and then uh, have it printed out and then cut out with your Cricut. Um, this works with the later models. It needs to have um, uh, design space. If you have des design space, then this will work for you. Um, but anyway, so I am here on my... Um, Alright, so you have this calibration symbol or sign or your thing in here in your, um, in your settings. And you're going to want to follow the on-screen instructions uh, for this. And it will calibrate your printer to your, um, to your Cricut. Basically what it's going to do is um, uh, it's going to make it so that your printer cuts your image. Or excuse me, your, um, your Cricut cuts out your image perfectly after it's been printed. So you're going to want to actually do this before anything else. So you're going to, and I've already got mine calibrated, so I don't have to do it again. But um, just follow the on-screen instructions. And I'm sure if you're having trouble, there'll be tons of different videos on YouTube that'll show you how to do it. Um, and then come back to this point if you haven't already done this on my page. So first of all, I'm going to go over here and let's see, I'm just going to type in, um, oh, so how about SpongeBob? So I just type in what I'm wanting to look at and then I click images. And then all these pictures of Spongebob are going to show up. You want to look at the photo really kind of carefully and make sure that there are no watermarks on it. Like this one right here. You see this faint word in the background? Um, you're not going to get a good... It will print with that on the image and that's not what you want. So um, like this one right here, um, I'm not seeing anything on it. So, and also, too, when you look at your picture, um, if your image that you're looking at on this page is super, super clear, like really clear, not fuzzy at all, um, then that's usually a good image um, to use. So, what you do is you just uh, right-click on it, and then you're going to click Save Image As. Okay, and then you want to save it to some place in your computer that you're going to know where it is. Like I have this one folder here that says uh, YouTube, YouTube videos. And I click on that. And then when I go to open it up in my photos, I know exactly where the picture is and don't have to go searching for it too far. So anyway, so I'm going to click save. So now that I've saved that, I can go back into my design space and you're going to want to click new project. New project. There we go. All right. And then once you're in here on your canvas, um, you are going to want to come down here to where it says, oops, let me get that so you can see everything. So that you can uh, see your upload little thing right here. So you want to click on that. And then you want to click upload image. And then you're going to browse your computer to find your image. Alright, and then I just know I can just go right over here to my YouTube video. And it takes me right to that folder. And then I can find my image. Now it could be anywhere in your folder if you've got a lot of stuff in there. So just go down through everything until you find your picture. Whatever picture that is that you want to use. Okay. 
And as you see, I have a ton of stuff in here, but we'll find it. Okay, keep going. Until I find Spongebob. There's Spongebob. Okay, so now you're going to want to, uh, you're going to want to double click that or open it. And then we're going to wait for it to come on here. As soon as it's done doing the little circle thing there. And we wait. Uh, well, is that going to, well, okay, so I'm going to do moderate to complex, it's not super complex, but that's the one I'm going to click on, and then I'm going to click, oh, there, it got done there, so now I'm going to click continue, okay, so now it brings you to this, and this is really important, this part is, so basically, um, let's see, what am I on? Okay, so I have it on select to erase right up here. That's the one that's the darkest, so that's the one that I'm using. Okay, and what you're going to want to do is, um, you're going to want to click on every part of your image that, um, that you don't want to print or cut out. So I am going to size this down just a tiny bit. And I'm just using my keys to, oops, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm just using my keys and bringing my fingers in, or on my keypad, I mean, and making it smaller that way. Okay, so um, you're going to want to click everything that you don't want uh, printed so I click that and then I'll click here and here and then up here okay and that got rid of everything I don't want now some images you've got a whole bunch of small teeny tiny areas and you really want to take the time to enlarge your picture to make it really big so that you can see exactly um, what you need to erase basically because that's what I'm doing I'm erasing all of the background that I don't want okay and then now I'm now I need to make it small and let me sh bring it down on my funky keyboard so you can see what I'm doing so I'm just making my fingers go like this to make it bigger or smaller so I need to enlarge it back to where it was so I can see all of my settings. See how I, oh, I guess you didn't, but that's, that's how you do that. Okay, so now you can see my settings again. And SpongeBob is still there, let me move him over. And he's still there, I just made him big again so I could use my, all of my stuff there. Alright, so now you're going to click continue, or you can click preview. Preview is right here, and that gives you a look at it before it's finalized, if that's what you want. Or if you know you got it all, you don't need to do that. Um, so now I'm just going to click continue. And now you want to wait for um, this to come up on both of these little things here. Okay, so... Now you've got the this image and this image. And this set this one over here says save as a cut image and this one says save as a print and then cut image. And this is the one that you want. And you can see it's highlighted here with the green. Now if I wanted this one I would click on it 
and it's highlighted with the green but that's not the one you want so we're going to click that one over here just click on the image okay and now you're now you can name it and put tags on there if that's what you want um, and it's just named Spongebob, so I'm going to leave it that way. <clears throat> and now I'm going to uh, click Save. And it just takes a second to save it. Alright. Um, now it said my image is successfully saved. Um, so now, okay, so now I'm going to go back to my canvas so I can show you guys from the canvas area. Okay, so now you're at your canvas, canvas, sorry, <laughs> when you start a project. And now in order to get that image that you wanted, you want to go back over here to upload and click upload. And now you're going to come down here and select one of your images. And so I'm going to select Spongebob. And then I'm going to click Insert Images. There we go. Alright. So now that you have your image on your uh, canvas, now you can uh, decide what size you want him to be. So, I'm going to bring him up here, and I'm just dragging him over there. And then I'm going to page down, and then over a little bit to get to this spot right here. And actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it up just a little bit there. Okay, and now you want to, and I'm going to make it smaller. So now you're going to want to drag that just uh, hold your key down and use your finger to drag it smaller or I guess you could also use the um, you could also use the sizing up here too to make it whatever size you want okay so I just wanted to make it a little easier to see is all okay so now you have your um, your image on your canvas and now you're going to, one of the lady's questions was that she couldn't get it to um, cut and print correctly. So I want to show you this area right here. So I want to show you this area right here. And right here is where it has all of your images that are on your canvas. And then it shows over here that it's a print because it's going to be a print and then a cut leave this alone for right now okay so uh, now you're gonna want to click make it all right and now you see it says uh, print and cut right here you don't want to do you don't want to push or click on anything leave it just the way it is um, unless you've got some writing on there and then you're gonna want like it like one lady was uh, asking about a Coca-Cola can. Well, if you print it, it's going to have the letters upside down or backwards. So in that case, you're going to want to click this mirrored image button right here. Um, but if not, then don't worry about it. Okay. And... Then you're just going to click continue. And at this point, you're going to print it. You're going to put your paper in your printer and print out the image. And then after you've printed it out, um, like here it says, I've already printed it. So I'm just going to click that just so you guys can see. Oh, and my machine's not on right now. Good grief, you guys. Anyways, so basically, after you get done printing it, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> after you've gotten done printing it, um, it will have another button to click on to have it ready to go through the Cricut machine to cut it out. And... <coughs> 
and that's about it you guys it's it's real simple once you get in there and and uh, see how to do it and basically unless you have changed um, actually wouldn't change it anyways so basically just follow the directions that I'm giving here and make sure that you save it as a print and then cut image uh, don't click on the just the cut one or that's all it's going to do. Um, so anyways, uh, I hope this was helpful, you guys. I hope I answered some questions and wasn't totally confusing. But um, anyways, uh, that's about it, you guys. Well, I want to thank you for watching. And like I said, I really hope I, I helped you guys and answered some questions for you. Um, but... Anyhow, uh, thank you guys, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.